Here's an example dealing with online college registration. The scatter plot shows the number of college students in the United States in thousands enrolled exclusively in online education from 2002 through 2007. Also shown is a line that passes through or near the six data points. So here's what we're looking at. Number of U.S. college students enrolled exclusively in online education. And we have, notice, a point that's designated as 0, 0,449, another point that's designated as 4, 1489. This is in thousands, remember, for the y value. According to the graph, what is the y-intercept? Describe what this represents in this situation. Well, let's look back at our chart. Our y-intercept is going to be the point that intersects with the y-axis. We can see it's designated as 449 for the y value. So how do we interpret that? Well, the 0, 449, and we were told that this 0 corresponded to the years after 2002. So if there's 0 years after 2002, that means it's in the year 2002. So in 2002, we had 449,000 students exclusively enrolled in online education. Use the coordinates of the two points shown to compute the slope. What does this represent in terms of the rate of change in the number of students enrolled exclusively in online education? Well, the first point is 0, 0,449. The second point is 4, 1,489. So again, let's transfer those over. 0, 0,449 and 4, 1,489. To find the slope, we're going to take the difference in our y values, which will be 1,489 minus 449, divided by the difference in our x values, 4 minus 0. Our numerator is... 1,040, our denominator is 4. Dividing that gives us a value of 260. Now, what does this represent? It means it's an increase of 260,000 students per year. Use the y-intercept shown and the slope from part B to write a linear function that models the number of college students enrolled exclusively in online education, L of x, in thousands, x years after 2002. Well, our slope, remember, is going to be used if we think about the format y equals mx plus b. The difference is that our y value is going to be L of x. Our m value we discovered was 260 times x plus our b value of 449. Now, use the function from part c to predict the number of college students who will be enrolled exclusively in online education in the year 2012. 2012 will be 10 years past the year 2002. So therefore, we're finding L of 10. So L of 10 is going to equal our slope of 260 multiplied times 10 plus our y-intercept of 449. That's going to be 2,600 plus 449, which gives us 3,049. But remember, this is 3,049,000. ,000. So if we can change that into 3,0,4,9,0,0,0, zero, 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 or in other words, 3,049,000 college students.